Welcome to Simply Fishing, featuring world-class angling. Hosted by Bob Mesacomer, nine-time world record holder. Simply Fishing is brought to you by Canadian Connection, your travel connection to quality fishing. Evan Rood, the world's most refined engines with new Ficked Ram Injection. Odyssey, the pig family of lures for trophy fish. Pinpoint Positioning Systems, a Brunswick company leading the network fishing revolution. Pose and Wardens, makers of the Awaker and Giant Jackpot. Ranger Boats, still built one at a time so you can fish hard, run strong, and rest easy. Shimano, Calcutta Reels and Compre Rods, fish the best, fish Shimano. Strike King Lures, now with the Magnum King for Pike and Muskie. Tough Line, premium braided fishing line. To catch the big ones, you've got to get tough. Now, here's Simply Fishing with Bob Mesacomer. Whoa, oh, that was her, that was her, the big one. The big one, huh? That was the big one. Good. Missed it. <laughs> Missed it all together? Missed it all together. Never tough. Good. Good. Fish count, man. Geared off. Went out that way. Yeah. See my hair sticking up in the back of my neck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she got some girth to her. Was that the big girl? Uh, that was that was I think probably a 48. Yeah. There's a girth of them in here. Ooh. <laughs> That's what it's all about, though, Bob, right there. That's what it's all about. That's the activity we're looking for yeah, right I here. I could have right here. Yeah, boy, I could have I taken that thing at the hoop. Hi, everybody. Bob Mesacomer here in the back of the boat. Bob Jacobs. We're at Ash Rapids Camp on Lake of the Woods. We are musky fishing, folks. Jackpots, pigs. We got a new lure in the boat called a skitter critter, folks. We're going to get you some giant fish. I just got to teach him how to put a hook in the fish. <laughs> Nice job. But <laughs> next time when she jumps, another foot and a half, she'll be in the back of the ranger. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay, keep her head in the water. You want to hand grab her? <laughs> I asked if it was a little one. It's a pretty little fish. one. Pretty fish. You want to bring her, uh, which side are you going to bring her to? I'll take her right here. You going to hand grab her? Sure. You want a glove? Are you gonna do it without her? She's bathing me before I get her up. Yes. Let me get some of that vinegar out of her. Jump. One, one hook right in the snout, huh? She's not even hooked good. Yeah, well, hooked good enough. Call her if you want me to do her. Okay, watch yourself. Come 
You want to cut hers? No. Pardon? No, she's good. She's out. Okay. So I'm going to trim it real quick. Got her. Okay. Got her. There you go. Yeah. Not bad. There's a couple of fish up on this spot, ain't there? About 36, 37. Yeah, I'd say in there, yeah. Nice and chunky. Nice fresh release. No net. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed to the nets, to be honest with you. Sometimes it's better off to net these fish. Now, a yeah. little guy like that, she's hooked in the lip, it's really easy to grab her. I've got barbless hooks, so it might even be easier than your barbed hooks, but the truth of the matter is, is netting fish and keeping the fish in the water at the net side, that doesn't hurt them. That doesn't hurt these fish. They may tear a ray in the fin, they may tear a ray in the tail. Those will regenerate. It's when people hold them up out of the water for 10 minutes to get their quote unquote perfect picture yeah. or to get whatever they feel comfortable with. Truth of the matter is, is the oxygen and the bacteria that are in the air element, not just in the water, but those all attack those open wounds. Get them back in the water in their resource where they're, they're supposed to be, and those fish will be fine. Let's run up and hit that other spot. Get her? Yep. <laughs> What's that one on? Is that a pike? No. It is the true muscalunge. Yep. Little, little free spool, little free spool. <laughs> Jackpot, eh? Yep. Want me to net her? Yeah, maybe it'd be easier. Not there, not there. Pardon? I was just talking to her. We're ready. Okay, it's coming then. Okay. Yeah, we'll pull that hook out of her real quick. Thank you, sir. Perfect release. Another one. Just had the one hook yet. Let me get her out of the net first. You want your glove? No, I just get her out of the net first. Okay. That was a little bigger than the last one. Then we'll get that hook out of there. That's two fish in five minutes? Yep. They're on. Well, we're going to go out there and get that big baby. Set this one back. Yep, go get your mama, your great grandma. I was sitting depth track on the trolling motor and I heard go whoosh, whoosh. She was hugging that. She yep. was must have been in a foot of water, period. Sharp. Foot of water when it came over there. Yeah. Only if she was the big one. Yeah, well, they're here. Oh, they gotta be. We wanna throw it back across the top of the reef. Okay. I'm gonna turn the boat, I'll come all the way around this thing. We wanna throw right over the top of the reef. There's little fingers coming out over there. When you make your next cast, make it straight out over there. These fish are incredibly directionally sensitive. Sometimes they will only come if that lure comes up one way and there's big cracks in the rocks. Yeah. Yep.
Oh, oh, fin, 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 fin. See it? Right off. Two of them. Two of them. One further out, one right there. Right in line. Straight out that way. Two of them. I'm going to turn the boat and go out that direction. Two fish just come up and finned out there. From where the boat's sitting, straight in line with that point. See, there's all kinds of little fingers out there. I watched two of them come up together. One just and the other one right behind it. They're out in deep water, aren't they? No, there's all kinds of little finger reefs out here. Are there? 10, 12 feet deep, 8, 10 feet deep. Oh, there we go. That's wet. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Come on, baby. Okay, it's coming toward you. Just put the net down in the water. There you go. There you go. She's in. Good enough. Okay, let her thrash for a second. I'll get the hooks out of her. You want to do it back here, Bob? No, uh, no, I'm gonna have you slide it just this direction a little bit. Just just the hoop. Just the hoop. Slide the hoop forward. Got her. Okay. That's one of those two fish that I just saw rolled out there. Keep her down in the water. Keep her in the water. She's okay. She's okay. Man, is she mad. Okay, just hang on to her for a second. I'm gonna try those gloves. Let's see, I usually take all those hooks out of that net. Yeah, that's the scary part with even with a glove, it might get your wrist. Yeah. If I get her jaw, there we go. If I get her jaw, she's had. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I'll have you slide the net back. There you go, one of these two fish, folks. We just worked through this area. We worked shallow because of the low light. I turned the boat around. I told Bobby to throw back off this edge out here. When I did, I looked out and I saw two of these babies roll out here. This is just one of them. We're gonna get another one of these fish. Right. Yes, nice fish. Here she goes, baby. Man, did she come up and eat that thing or what? Didn't huh? she? Yeah. There you go, sweetheart. Thank you. It was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's sitting there. She's okay. Typically, I go in and I cut all the hooks in the net. This is a typical big fish that is like laying around for yeah, a while. Yeah, she's not hurt. She's not hurt at all. She ain't rolled yet? No, she's fine. I got barbless hooks on here so I can pull them out of the net really easy. That was really cool. I mean, she just came right up out of nowhere. Sight fishing. Sight fishing. Sight fishing. You know, I say I can get the hooks off, but I can't see them. <laughs> You're like me. Yeah, huh? blind. <laughs> there we go. You know, people say barbless hooks, you lose fish. That fish just, I mean, she came up, she ate it, she rolled, she did everything. These are barbless. I mean, you're, I'm peeling right out of a net. If there was barbs on there, you'd never do that. Nope. Don't go anywhere, folks. Be right back with more Simply Fishing. We got boats running over the top of us. We got big muskies. We got low light happening right here. Ash Rapids Camp, Lake of the Woods. Folks, we're on a really big reef here. Wind is coming across the lake right now, blowing at about 30, 35 miles an hour, gusting a little bit higher than that. And it's rolling out here. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but this is some rough cowboy stuff. But we got a reef right here in front of us. 
that tops off at about six feet. Come on, Robert. Let's get a good one. We'll get a nice one here. In a should condition really bringing, like this, huh? Really should be bringing bait fish in here. Yeah, a guy should run crankbaits, spinner baits, bucktails, a draw bait in here, you know? I'd like to run a jackpot in here, but to be honest with you, it's just a little on the windy side. Now you're gonna be coming, you'll be banging rock pretty good right there. Oh, yes. Big fish. Big, big fish. You gonna take her, Bob? Not as big as I thought. She flared those gills. I thought she was 50 inches. She's a nice fish, but let me get the boat out here. I need to get out so we can drift. This is really dangerous water. She's okay. Kind of sit her down. Sit her no, head I, down. She's out at all. She's yeah. out. Of, she's unhooked. I see that. Just kind of sit her head down in the water. We're in a situation right now where there's reef all around us. Man, she came up just so slow motion underneath that JP6, and all yeah. of a sudden she just flared her gills. I watched her flare. I thought she was 50 inches when she flared. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing out here. I'm gonna shut it off. Okay, how are we doing on the shore? I'm gonna get her up real quick, and then we're gonna get her back in the water. Nice fish. Beauty. Off the windy rocks, folks. We've been out here pounding around in these three-foot rollers trying to get these fish. We've thrown jackpots on them. We've thrown bucktails, crankbaits, and crankbait is what took this baby right off there. Now we got big rock saddle behind us, and that's where she come from. Wind blown. I don't know the fish laid up in the current, but she was in there feeding. Oh, man. <laughs> She's okay. See if you can get the net under. She might, she might just go down. Okay, can I bring her this way? Yeah, folks, she as you can see, hand. Bob Jacobs and I were really on a like numbers game. Easy. But what happened to the elusive number 70 over 50? Do we get it? Okay, slide You'll never off. know unless you tune in next week to Ash Rapids Part 2. In the meantime, I'd like to thank the folks at Clinton's Ash Rapids right, Camp sweetheart. for making this possible. And, of course, yeah, you folks for watching. Fish. Please remember, practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future fishing there is in your goes. hands. There she goes. You got to do that. You can't just, thank you, sir. You can't just let them go, folks. If they're rolled up like that, get the fish back upright. We're going to be on the rocks right there. So give me a second. Let me fire this boat and get us back out of here. Well, 48 inches, huh? We'll see you next week. Will it be 70 or not? Simply Fishing would like to thank the following sponsors. Canadian Connection, your travel connection to quality fishing. Evan Rood, the world's most refined engines with new thick ram injection. Odyssey, the pig family of lures for trophy fish. Pinpoint Positioning Systems, a Brunswick company leading the network fishing revolution. Warden's Timber Tiger, the ultimate modern crankbait for shallow water. Ranger Boats, still build one at a time so you can fish hard, run strong, and rest easy. Shimano, Calcutta Reels, and Compre Rods, fish the best, fish Shimano. Strike King Lures, now with the Magnum King for pike and muskie. Tough Line Premium Braided Fishing Line. To catch the big ones, you've got to get tough. 
Beckman Nets. When your trophy's on the line, depend on Beckman. Peterson Tackle, maker of the Rattletail Inhaler Bucktails and Spinnerbaits. Up North, the official web provider for Simply Fishing and many outdoor activities. Please practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future of fishing depends on it. Reach us at Simply Fishing, Box 33, Hugo, Minnesota, 55038, or on the web at simplyfishing.com.